All right, hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to set up a reflux so that we can heat um, our reaction for a prolonged period. So I'm gonna show you two different setups, one using a round bottom flask um, and the other using a flat bottomed Erlenmeyer flask. So the round bottom flask first. Um, in order to heat a round bottom flask effectively, we need our heating mantle, right? So this consists of two pieces, right? The first piece is just the, the mantle um, that gets hot. And we're gonna set this on top of a stir plate. So we need the stir plate just for the stirring capabilities. Right? To control how hot this gets, you plug this now into the controller. Um, this is the one that we have uh, that's most common. So we plug this in here. And then this controller will get plugged into the electrical outlet, but I'm going to not do that yet. So we have our reaction right, with our, our solvent. There's also a stir bar in here. So now what we want to do is set this in the mantle. So it definitely fits. Okay. And we want to clamp it right here on the ground glass joint. So that's the strongest part of the glassware. So I'm going to lower secure. So now we're going to use a waterless condenser, also known as a fin denser. So uh, we don't need to use running water to cool this down. We have these aluminum fins that help um, remove the heat from the center uh, of the, the condenser out into the lab. Also, there is a high surface area on the inside but also helps recondense vapors um, without any cooling water. So this is a much more um, environmentally friendly way to run a reflux. We are not wasting water unnecessarily. Okay. So we can just put our condenser right on top. Okay. This is nice and secure. That's the only clamp we need. If this feels wobbly, something is not right, um, and you will want to take this off, readjust if necessary. Okay, all right. So we are almost ready to start heating. So I'm gonna turn on the stir. Right, remember we added a magnetic stir bar to our reaction. So that is stirring. It doesn't have to be going super fast or super slow. You just need some agitation in there. And now we're ready to heat. Okay, so again, it's the controller that gets plugged into the outlet. Right, there are outlets um, underneath your hood sash. So right here. Right, so this um, controller is not in degrees, right? You can't say, all right, go to 80 degrees. Um, it's in percentage, right? Percentage of voltage. So it goes from zero all the way to 100. Um, let's turn this to about 40%. So that means that this controller will allow 40% of the total voltage from the outlet to the mantle. We have to be able to control how hot it gets. So this little orange light turns on and off as the mantle or as the controller is regulating the heat. That's normal. Just because it turns off doesn't mean it's broken. Uh, if it never turns on, that's a problem. So we literally just have to wait. 
right? So we want this to get hot enough so that our solvent starts to boil. The condenser will prevent that vapor from boiling away completely, right? So this gets hot, it's gonna boil, vapor comes up into the condenser, recondenses into a liquid, and then drips back down. So that is a reflux. So it, it'll take a little bit of time for things to get warm enough. So we'll get that going. And then we'll do a zoom in so that we can see exactly what a reflux is. So it's been about five minutes. Um, we're still at 40%. I did not change it. Um, and it looks like we are now refluxing. So I just turned the stir up a little bit just to make sure it was actually stirring, right? The heat is off on this. We're heating with the mantle, not with the plate. All right, so let's zoom in and take a look. So this is hot enough to get our acetone boiling. That's the solvent I'm using. Right, we have our little wavy reflux line up here where my finger is. So that hot solvent is going up into our condenser here. And then it is recondensing into a liquid and dripping back down. And you can see that here. So this is a pretty good reflux rate. Once you see that dripping, that's when you start your reflux period. So if I needed to reflux for 30 minutes, this is my, my starting time point. So what if you couldn't find a heating mantle? Well, that's all right. That just means that you need to put your reaction into um, a, a flat Erlenmeyer flask that has a ground glass joint. Set this here, clamp it just like I did the round bottom flask, um, but there's no heating mantle. Okay, we're going to heat directly on the stirring hot plate. So this particular hot plate has an on off switch on the side that I'm going to turn on. I want to get this stirring. So the stirring is over here, MOT for motor. Since we're in a ground glass joint, we can put our reflux condenser right on the top. Okay, and again, if this is solid, this is stable, we only need one flask. So now we do, with this flask, we need to heat the plate. So I'm going to set this to about 250. And this type of hot plate has a number. It's not accurate. So it's probably likely that this could get to about 125 degrees. Um, so again, this number is not accurate. Okay, so then it's just a waiting game. You heat it, um, and then you wanna see the same thing. You want this boiling, that vapor will come up, hit the condenser, recondense it back into a liquid and drip down. So it looks like uh, this reaction is now refluxing. Okay, let's zoom in, take a better look. Okay, so our solvent is boiling. Right, we have our wavy reflux line up here. Um, that hot vapor hits the condenser, recondenses into a liquid, and we can see that it's dripping back down. So this type of flask takes a, takes a little bit longer to start heating up because right, you're only heating the bottom of the flask, um, unlike the heating mantle with the, the round bottom flask. So over here, the entire bottom half of the flask is heating. So once your um, reflux time is up, right, what you want to do is turn the heat off. So over here, we were heating with the heating mantle. So I'm going to just turn this 
back to zero. And I'm going to unplug it just to make sure it's actually off. So you want to leave the condenser on until it stops dripping. One way to help this cool down a little faster is to just raise this up and out of the heating mantle. Um, but I just turned it off, it's pretty hot, so I'm gonna wait before I do anything. If you are heating with this style, just turn that off. Wait for it to cool down. Again, leave the condenser on until the solvent stops dripping. So I'm going to lift this up out of the heating mantle, so I'm going to leave this clamp, loosen this one on the back, and just lift this up, retighten it so that it just stays there. Okay. And so again, because this is no longer sitting on the mantle, this should cool down more quickly. it wants to drop. solvent dripping so I'm gonna just take this off set it down gently and this is still very hot so again I'm just gonna leave it while that's cooling down I'm gonna clean my condenser so I have a waste beaker and I also have my acetone squeeze bottle um, and so there was only solvent in this so it's not particularly dirty so the only thing that I'm going to do to clean this is squirt some acetone inside, let it drip into my beaker, and then I'm going to squirt the ground glass joint and make sure that's clean as well. And that's it. So that is how you reflux a reaction.